Never quit, do it right Play the game, win it life Have no shame, waste no time Feel the pain, let the grind I could change, in my mind Pick a lane, commit and climb The only way, to win it life I never miss that fact Taking big swings, put your hand to the back Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag Cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad life Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took the red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how is it supposed to feel? Right, good morning everybody. So, today I've just got here, we're at Decoy Lakes. To cut these off now, some were absolutely keen in me. Eyes on way down. Decoy Lakes for the first golden rod qualifier of the year. You can tell it's winter the now. Um, windy, rainy. It's probably going to get up to about 15 16 degrees so let's see where we get drawn anyway we're here now so i'm gonna go in get paid up get drawn and we'll see where we are Uh, Les, just wait out for us, would you? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell have we behind you? Uh, Joe Jagger. Joe, I've, you've got Joe I've got Jagger's Joe Jagger's ticket, ticket yeah. Joe Jagger. Becomes David Wood. All right, Dave, take care of that draw, mate. Maybe the 20. Cedar 7. Right, I've just drawn. I'm on. Get my belt on. I've drawn Cedar 7. And I'm sure I've been on it before this. I need to go down towards the strip lake. I think I can cut across here. Um, Dave Smith, the lucky bugger, has drawn Oak 20, that's where he, that's where he wanted to be. Uh, Les Marshall's drawn all right. God's sake, man. Anyway, Cedar 7, it's in the middle of one of the strips. I knew I'd be on the strip. Uh, we'll see how we go. I think I need to be down here. I can't even remember where I'm going, mate. Yeah, I need to be down there. Yeah, let's get, let's get to the peg, see what happens. It's hopefully a good day.
Right, here we are. We've drawn seven on you. I'm sure I've had this peg before, or maybe eight or nine on you. Can't actually remember, but I'm sure I've had it before. Um, I'm in the middle of the lake, which is all right, and I've got a spare peg that, to the right side and two spare pegs to the left. A couple of no-shows, apparently. Everyone's saying it's an absolute flyer. <sighs> I get told it everywhere I go, but we'll see what happens. Um, so today, it's a feeder match, obviously. I've got a little maggot feeder set up. Um, and a couple of method feeders just the uh, flatbed method feeders from midder because uh, I ain't doing out else so it's uh, you want a good weight to win I think so I think if you're gonna catch them you probably catch them up method um, but if it is really really hard then I've got a little maggot feeder I can just chuck out see if I can catch a couple of barbel because I know that there's some big barbel in here and stuff like that so um, I think, who have we got down here? I think John Arthur's down here. He's not the crap caster himself. He's uh, on 21 on this side. He's not uh, not drawn the best of areas, he says. But I remember 60 or 70 pound coming off that last year. But um, Dave Smith's on uh, Oak 20, as I said. He's uh, looking forward to it. That's where he wanted to be. So hopefully he'll catch a few. But the setup is just normal i'll turn you around you can have a look so there we go i've got a baiting rod here which is just a carp rod and that's got uh, a baiting uh, feeder on and then i've got me maggot feeder on that one i've got a method feeder on that 5g rod uh, and then i've got a, uh, another feeder another method feeder on that rod uh, which is the uh, 10 foot 9 xz reactor core rods P beautiful them for short feeder work method feeder work got my wafters i've got some maggots i've got some um pellets and then i've got a little bit of ground bait just a bit of a change just to make sure i've got it all covered basically uh, these are the new keep nets from midder the space scoop ones so I'll let you know how I get on with them, but look fantastic for uh, putting fish in and uh, hopefully I'll fill them up today. So that's it guys, we'll see what happens through the day, what's John Arthur doing over there? Oh he's looking at his peg from the other side, seeing if there's any snags look, keep an eye on John. Oh look, he's having a look, making sure. Right, so that's it. We'll uh, get set up, finish off with his ground bait, and uh, we'll see how the day goes. So, snack box wise, everybody always wants to know what's in the snack box. So I've got a nice big bottle of water. I've got a can of Dr Pepper, some Walker's Pro Cocktail Crisps, a double decker, and a Yorker, no of Yorkers, and a bit of an energy drink, so I'm gonna have that now. Save the rest of the snap for later. Right, we are two minutes from the starting at 11. And I'm gonna start on the method now. If I can get hold of it. Just had a lovely chat with Johnny Arthur up there. Some rules sorted, it's 50 pound a net limit. So I've had to put four nets in. I'm just going to try and spit my fish. If I, if I start absolutely emptying it, then uh, I'll have to borrow a net off someone, but I doubt it. Um, I'm start method and then uh, work my way out. Everybody's raring to go. The wind's blowing to the other bank, so I'm sure there'll be some fish on the other bank. But hopefully, that rain will keep off. set
That's it then. Anyway, we'll give this a go for 10 minutes, see what happens, and then decide what the plan is. Um, start moving out, maybe going across, and uh, we'll go from there.
Another fish that is fishing really hard. Not seen many people catch anything. Guy above's had a couple. We had a few splashes further down. But uh, not fishing very well at all at the minute. It's ten past. What's this? Rasm. Smith had one and then he sat there like a gnome. Odd fish coming out, so anyway we'll crack on. I'm just chucking to weed weed bed in front. I think that rare little bite. And if it's no good here, then I'll start chucking to a platform. So we'll see. See what happens. A few more indications though to the weed bed. I mean that bream will what? Three pounds, so if you can get one of them every chuck you're alright, aren't you? Hopefully it'll go again. bank cedar and the one behind me so you need to win your zone to qualify um, so that's what I've got to worry about at the minute to me right Thank you. 
way that continues. I don't know if you can see me, looks a bit dark on the old screen, but just give you a quick update. Um, so I've had a chat with uh, Dave Smith over there, just on the other bank, he's not in my uh, zone or anything like that, but he's got about 10 to 12 carp, he says. He's doing really well, chucking uh, halfway, he says, on some sort of special bit that he's got side widening going off. Um, there's loads of fish being caught in my section every time I look up or look down I'm hearing splashes and all sorts of stuff so there's plenty of fish being caught um, I've got well it's two o'clock um, and I've got five carp, three F1s a bream and a barbel you've got to be good to catch barbel haven't you? Um, come short now and I've just fed down the edge with a couple of feeder full so I'm just going to have a quick look on the short line I've just had an F1 on it and then I'm going to go down the edge and see if I can get a couple more but uh, he seemed to catch two or three and then he got dead and then he got to try and move somewhere else so that's that's what I'm doing at the minute um, down there there's a lot of splashing off going down there so I think the guy next door he's, he's getting quite a few. Um, Johnny Off is getting a few as well I've seen him casting in. He's casting quite well today so well done John. Not so crap at casting. Only a bit of banter. So there's plenty of fish coming out now. It seems to have got better. We've got two hours left so hopefully these last two hours I'll start getting some proper big munters.
finished now. This feels a good one. and finish on so So you get that bag up TV or different final. Correct, isn't it? The ugly bloke I know, but he's a good swimmer, was Jason Crawford. Oh, no, no. oh, right, that's the end of that one. So, uh, I ended up weighing 131.11, I think it was, or 14. And I thought, done all right here, but I'd thought I, I was hearing to the right of me loads and loads of splashes throughout the match. And I thought, God, someone's absolutely hammering it in the next few pegs down from me. Um, and I thought I'd done all right. And I thought, oh, it's close that one. It's close. Anyway, the guy two down from me, he ended up weighing 120. And I thought, oh, I've just done him. And then there was, oh, I can't remember his name, a uh, Polish fella, Pemski Skloski, if I've got it right. Apologies if I've got it wrong. Um, he was next, next door to the other guy, and he ended up weighing 162 pounds. So I've come second in the zone. Um Quite a way off it, hundred and sixty-two pound. I was what thirty, 30 pounds when I off it. So there were no way I could have got any more. 
I only lost two F1s or something like that. And I were catching odd fish, but yeah, I just just weren't. That first hour, um, I'd only got one carp and a, and a couple of F1s in the first hour. So that's where it's cost me. But they've been catching all day down there. Anyway, so well done to you, mate. He's won the zone. I've come second in the zone. Shame that, but... It is what it is, isn't it? I don't think I could have had any more than that. Um, so I've ended up coming fifth in the match. Um, which has been all right, because I've picked up some money. Fifth in the match, paid top five today. So that was great. Thanks for that, Phil. And there's been three qualifiers. The three qualifiers were Jason... Gold Thorn, I think it is. So well done to you. £185 he's had on Beaster. Dave Smith, old Smither. £167.6 on 20 up. We said he were on a good peg. I did talk to him through the match and he's done well on there. So well done. Well done, Smither. Made up for you, old lad. And then uh, Pemsky Solske. Try and get your name right, mate. But well done to you as well. Um... I did say congratulations, so back in the final. I think he's been a winner as well of the Golden Rod, so back in the final again. So those were your three qualifiers. I've done all right today. I've had a little bit of a chance there, but I wouldn't have been able to get £162 uh, just with that slow start. So that were it. That's the results. I'll put them up for you now. I'll put the picture up and everything like that. I've got a two and a two hour drive home, so I'm gonna get the old sat nav sorted. Right, that's the sat nav sorted. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Really close today. A um, few different decisions at the start. Could I have caught a few more? Possibly. Don't know, but had a really nice day. And uh, so close, yet but so far, they do say, don't they? Anyway, I'm going to get back home. Massive thank you to everybody that's watched the video. If you've stayed and watched the video this long, thank you to watching it. Massive thanks to all the members out there. Hit the join button if you want to become a member. Over 120 videos on the members only playlist. Hit the join button if you want to become a member. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's free to subscribe. Subscribe up to the channel. If I get over 20,000 subscribers, I'm going to get a tattoo and keep on bagging on my arm. So if you put the word out there, do something a little bit crazy. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It does make a lot of difference. If you have waited so long for the video, I have got another prize from, again, my good friends at Tackle Tidy dot co dot uk another prize to give away so it is a 35 pound gift card if you want to win this all you have to do is comment on this video and i will pick a winner out on the next live match that i do which will be in a couple of weeks probably at Stoughton harold i'm fishing there on a festival so if you want to win 35 quid worth of gift voucher from the lovely people at Tackle Tider. Go have a look at their products, www.tackletider.co.uk. They're the people what do all the trays for your boxes, um, put loads of different stuff. Yeah, every box you can imagine, they will do. So if you want to win this, comment on this video and I will pick a winner out on the next time I am fishing. There you go. Another prize for you. So, thanks for watching the video. If you want to give us a super thanks, you can do in the description. Just hit the heart button. Give us a super thanks on there. It would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Keep on bagging. Hi guys, thanks for tuning on the video. If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video, guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.